Sometimes when a man or a woman, really anyone waking up in the middle of a desert with a bullet wound, when that person, when they find themselves one with nature, when they find themselves truly alone, that's when much like their physical being, their mind it begins to wander. Perhaps the mind begins to play tricks. Perhaps dreams and reality begin to form bridges we once thought to be impossible. Or maybe it's more than that. Maybe they find that when we are truly alone, we are never alone. The ghosts of those before us, or even around us, finally begin to take shape. Or, maybe it's just a dream. Or the sweat running through their eyes. But these ghosts, or what we believe to be such, they're not all we find in these moments. Perhaps more importantly, we begin to find ourselves, and not in the sense of where we are on a map. Bigger than that. Much like we find what was always there, we find where we always were. And not just where, who we always were. Our dreams, the dreams of our dreams, our legacy. Finally, you can all lay before you and say, here I am, this is me. Or maybe it's just the sweat in our eyes. And in those moments, the last moments, when you know your journey is at an end, once every rock has been overturned, once the acceptance of being truly alone takes hold, when you are no longer alone, perhaps then you realize that amongst yourself and all the ghosts of these great hills and valleys, here is where you find yourself, at the doorstep of the Lord, a place you always yearn for. And in these last moments, now with an earshot, you can finally hear the angels calling back. Why, God? Why? Why have you sent us to settle the West? Through all my tribulations, show me a vision of what civilization may be. Why, God? Then again, it might be better if it's just the sweat in our eyes. Mm -hmm.